Hello, hello, hello. Yes, I just finished filming my last vlog and I am back again. But I had a really good idea of what to do for my next video, which is, I'm gonna try and figure out what I'm gonna cook for dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna see what's in my cupboard, see what's in my fridge. I'll put it all together. Let's go. All right, so we got some organic black beans in water. Kidney beans, quinoa, which I've never cooked before. So it could be my first time cooking quinoa in this video. We got some soy cream. We've got French style green beans, mushrooms, peppers. We got some sweet corn. And then we got some rice. And then probably a ton of other stuff in the fridge. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so we've started with some oil and some fresh garlic paste because I feel like every good dish starts with oil and fresh garlic paste. And I've decided I'm going to cut up this onion on my ridiculously small cutting board. So I'm going to dice that up really small, add it to the onion and garlic, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we've now got onion, red pepper, yellow pepper, the garlic and the oil and that's just going to be in there simmering for a little bit just wilting it down cooking it up a little bit and then i think i'm going to add some kidney beans the black beans some sweet corn i'm not sure about the the green beans i don't really like green beans that's why they're in the can in the cupboard <laughs> i avoid eating them <laughs> oh mushrooms I totally forgot about the mushrooms. So we're gonna add those in too, right now. Some beans, red, red kidney beans, black beans, mushrooms, sweet corn. And then we'll see about this rice quinoa situation because I'm not really sure what I'm doing with that yet. Okay, so we got the mushrooms in there too now. So peppers, onions, mushrooms, garlic, oil. And then I'm going to add the Sainsbury's So Organic Black Beans in Water. If they even come out. <laughs> no? Alright, I guess I'm going to have to stop filming and actually rip this thing apart. Nice work, Sainsbury's. So I tried to open the can of sweet corn and I broke it. So it's a good job that I, I am an adult, if I can say that. I have a can opener, actual can opener. So we're gonna open up this can and pour the sweet corn into that concoction, which now has the black beans in it and the kidney beans in it with the water they came in. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Bisso gravy granules to that. Not gonna lie, it looks kind of weird right now. And I'm thinking I'm gonna add the quinoa because I've never cooked that before. The last time I tried to eat quinoa was on an aeroplane. <laughs> it looked like maggots, it was gross. But this stuff doesn't look like it sprouted like maggots, so let's, fingers crossed that it's gonna go well. <laughs> okay, gravy in, sweet corn in, and now I've decided that I'm going to be adding this. Quinoa from Co op, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> um, it does say one part quinoa, two parts well, rinse well beforehand. Okay, do you think that's like a like a, you should do this or you can do this? I'm just gonna chuck it in. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm I'm, I'm not gonna rinse this because how tiny it is. I'm just get out like my my cake colander. I'm just gonna make sure there's plenty of water in this, but there is quite a bit. Um, so I'm just gonna throw it in there, put the lid on, and hope for the best. Built quinoa everywhere. I don't know if that's like a good amount. Let's keep stirring it. Maybe. Maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna try not to. Yeah, it's 
it's about half a bag. That's probably about right. It's like pasta. Could it like pasta? Maybe? I have absolutely no idea. All right, that looks kind of like it's saturated, I guess. Like it's the whole way through with with quinoa. Um, I'm just gonna cover that for a bit. And I think what I'm gonna do once it's kind of cooked up a little, I'm gonna add a little bit of vegan cream and then a little bit of cheese, I think. If I have any type of cheese. I think I've got some cheese. Um, the idea is I've decided this is gonna be some sort of stew kind of thing, maybe. Like a non-spicy Mexican stew. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, um, I'll be back when this is kind of cooked, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so took it off the heat, add a little more quinoa, so that's got to cook through. But I'm just going to add, woo, see me. I'm going to add the vegan cream and then maybe a little bit of cheese and some sprinkled black pepper in there just for a bit of seasoning and then I'm gonna put it back on the heat like on a really low heat because Dave's gonna be home from work for like another probably half hour, hour so hopefully it'll be ready by then okay so I added the cream, I added a little bit of cheese and I seemed to let it simmer a little bit longer because the quinoa's still pretty white um yeah this is like the finished product i added a little bit more milk to it so that it was kind of more liquidy i've been a right mess everywhere but that's gonna cook out so it's a bit thicker and yeah it's my quinoa bean stew thing that i totally made up on the spot great <laughs> so it is the next day and it is so hot today like I think in Fahrenheit it's like 90, in the UK it's like 32 or something like that. It's it's, it's too hot for a country that doesn't do air conditioning, um, let me tell you that. <laughs> so I finished making my quinoa yesterday and I think, I think it went pretty well. I quite liked it, but it turns out I made so much. Like I was expecting it to be like chilli where like you can eat quite a bit of it, but no. Like one spoon and I was like, I'm done. I can't. I just can't finish it. <laughs> so it was really good. I sh I'm going to make that kind of actual recipe thing. <laughs> so today, I, I actually just saw one of my best friends so who I haven't seen in a long time. Like, post... No, post. Pre. Pre-lockdown. Um, probably like last year when me and Davis moved into the house. It was probably the last time I saw him. Um, we had a good catch-up all this morning. And now it's this afternoon and it's just hot and the dog's hot. I'm hot. So I think tonight I'm just going to be editing these videos, putting them up, I guess. Um, I need to make a schedule. I think what I'm going to do is just make videos as and when for now. And then when there's more of you watching, I will create more of like a fixed schedule. So you know what to expect from me and when. <laughs> So editing me realised I didn't film an outro for that video because I'm really bad at filming outros for some reason. So this is now my outro. <laughs> uh, if you liked the video, leave a comment, like it, subscribe if you want. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.